Good morning, church family, and good morning to all of our church family that are viewing online as well right now. Uh, my name is Sue Buckwalter, and right now is our time for our children's lesson. So gather the family around for this quick lesson that I have for you today. This lesson I'm going to do today is comes from one of my little church buddies, my church friend, Noel. Noel asked me if I would do a story about Jonah and how he didn't follow God and how he came back around to follow God and obey God. And so, Noel, I'm going to use a little science experiment along with our story about Jonah. So let's start by going back and talking about who Jonah was, because there might be some people who don't know who Jonah was. Well, Jonah was a man from the Bible who was given a direct message from God. And God told him that he needed to go talk to the Ninevites. Now, the Ninevites were people who were pretty wicked and evil people. And Jonah did not want to go to talk to the Ninevites because he did not have a happy message to give to them. He needed to tell those people to turn away from their wicked ways and turn back to God. And so Jonah got super scared to talk to these Ninevites. Well, he decided not to obey God. And that was one of his first mistakes. Well, he went the exact opposite direction of where Nineveh was. So he got on a boat and sailed to Tarshish. And when he got to Tarsh on, on that boat, he decided, no way, uh-uh, I'm not following God. I'm going to stay on this boat. I'm going to get as far away from Nineveh as I can. Well, wouldn't you know, when he was on this boat, there became this really, really big, terrible storm. And the sailors thought this ship was going to go down because it was so bad. They even began to throw cargo off the ship in hopes that they would save the ship. Well, Jonah knew that it was because of him and his disobedience to God that the, this storm was going on in the ocean. And so Jonah told the sailors, he told them, hey guys, I know how to make this storm stop. You guys need to throw me off of this boat. And the, the sailors were like, no way, uh-uh, we're not, we're not throwing you off this boat. And Jonah insisted, you've got to throw me off this boat because when you do, the, the storm will calm. Well, that's exactly what the, sold, the sailors decided to do. They decided they would throw Jonah overboard and prayed that the best would come for Jonah and that they wouldn't be punished because of throwing him off of the ship. Well, now I'm going to pause our story for just a minute and I'm going to do a little science experiment here. And you see I have a water balloon and I have a jar. And you can see my water balloon does not fit in this jar, does it? If I, I would have to push it and it would probably break if I did that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to light a fire in here and then I'm going to put this balloon on and see if we can get this balloon to go inside of this jar. Okay, here we go. It might take just a couple tries to get that fire going. Now watch, I'm going to put that on and watch what happens to that balloon. Oh man, look at it, it's going down, it's going down. See, I didn't have to force it. It's going all in on its own. And that balloon is stuck in there for now. It'll probably drop a little further in just a second as I finish telling the story. Isn't that cool? I couldn't put that in there originally, but that's because this is an air pressure thing that's going on. Well, let's get back to Jonah. You see, Jonah, he got thrown into the ocean, and you know what lives in the ocean? Big fish, right? Like we're talking sharks and whales and all kinds of big creatures. Well. Wouldn't you know it, there happened to become this big fish that came along. And it doesn't say it's a whale, but we're all kind of assuming that it was a whale because a whale is a very large fish. But um, Jonah was swallowed by this big fish. And you know what? He had to stay in that big fish. How many days, kids, do you remember? Yeah, three days and three nights, not just a couple of hours, but three days and three nights. Can you imagine how smelly the inside of a big fish would be? Can you imagine how dark it was inside of that fish as well? Well, he was stuck in this fish and he began to contemplate his life choices and he decided that he would obey God and he prayed to God while he was in the belly of this big fish. And after the third day and the third night, the fish vomited Jonah back up onto, the, onto dry ground. And 
that was probably pretty disgusting. So not only did Jonah have to be in this stinky, yucky belly of a big fish, he also is now covered in vomit as well. Well, kids, here's our Bible verse for today. Jesus was speaking in John 14, 15, and he said, If you love me, you will obey what I command. Wow, that's pretty pretty big, isn't it? Jesus said if we love him, we're going to obey what he commanded. And Noel, when you sent a, a message to me about this and you said that we need to follow God, you're only a little girl and you already know that Jonah was a big man and he didn't even follow God. So this week I want you to ask yourself, is God asking me to do something or am I walking away from some little small thing that God has asked me to do? So if God is telling you to do something, do it and don't put it off. Jonah eventually did go then and speak to the Ninevites about what God told him to do. So let's try to do the opposite of what Jonah did at first when he ran away from God. Let's try not to run away from God and let's try to run toward what God says. All right, see you later. Have a good week.